So here we have inside this box a 3D printer. Now this is an Anet A8 3D printer. It is one of the cheapest 3D printers that are available right now. And this one was from Gearbest. This is where we get most of our products from. And yeah, so Gearbest have sent me this. Now I must stress, I have no idea what I'm doing. I haven't an utter clue what I'm doing with a 3D printer. One, I've never even touched one before in my entire life. And two, yeah, I haven't a clue. I haven't a clue. So you're probably gonna know a lot more about this than me. And feel free to mock me in the comments, but you know, don't be too hard on me. But I'm gonna produce a couple of videos on this, I think. The first video, I'm gonna unbox it. I'm just gonna show you exactly what, it, what you get. I don't know what to expect in here because I've never used one, like I said before. And in the next video, I will be assembling it, or do my best to at least. And then hopefully, we can actually finally end up with a, an end product. So I've got my knife here. We're gonna open it up and see what we get inside because I don't know what to expect. Right, so here we go. So it's nicely packed, so that's good to see. It's come all the way from China, this one. A lot of our, like, you know, the TV boxes we look at and stuff like that, they normally, at the moment at least, have come from EU warehouses, whereas this one has come from China, this one, because not everything is available in the EU warehouses from GearVest. So, yeah, so it's good. It's nicely packed. I'm going to put that somewhere safe. And so let's remove this. And yes, right, okay. Well, this is going to be interesting, guys. All right, so I'm assuming this is the, yeah, so this is the heat pad, I'm assuming. And guys, I don't know what really the heat pad does. So again, this is gonna do need a lot of research, etc., into what this exactly this component does but this is the heat bed um, right so we'll move on oh wow <laughs> there's an actual you know tool with this I'm quite impressed and more tools and some clippers as well oh very good I'm very chuffed by that I always like I always like receiving tools and uh, we've got some uh, the, these um, and some these Right, whatever they are, and, oh, see, it said in the instructions on, online, and, you know, in the, everyone else has commented, and they said it didn't actually come with any, any PLA, any other filament, but there we go, it's got some filament with it, very good, because I don't have any, um, so that will save me buying some, and I can get to work straight away. Obviously, I'll need to, that's not a lot really, is it? But, you know, there we go, it comes with some. So, remove that top panel. I have no idea what that all does, but I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point. Right, so, we've got some more. So, this must be the, you know, the actual body of the 3D printer. I'm not sure what, what sort of material that is. It's like a, it's like a plastic. Type? I'm not, I'm not sure. I, got, I have no idea. So we've got all these components here. There's another one. There's, a, there's this here. Again, that'll be part of the body, I'd imagine. Um, we've got metal poles. I'm assuming, again, more structural part components. Nice and heavy, that is. Yeah, yeah. Good, good solid. Solid metal. There's, I know, you know what they look like. I'm not even gonna say because I'll get demonetized. But you know, yeah, we won't, we won't mention what they look like. I have no idea what they do. Um, more, more bits and pieces, more components. Uh, we've got some branded stuff here. So it's got the A Net branding on there. A Net main board. Right. Okay. So this will be the motherboard of some sort. This will be the brains of it all. Very good. Um, Looks like a TV box. <laughs> it's not a TV box, but yeah, right. Right, well that'll be interesting when we come to putting that together. We've got an A-Net display. 
So the display module of some sort. It's all in uh, It's good to see it in some uh, anti-static bags. You know, it's coming all the way from China. I mean, if this ever came into customs or anything like that and it was inspected, you know, you don't want them touching it, really, because, as we know, they put them in anti-static bags to stop them from becoming damaged. So, right, that's that layer done. I'm not sure what to expect now. That's quite heavy, that. And, wow, okay. So this gets even more complicated. So we've got, love where you can see that little, Oh God, I'm making a hell of a mess. Hopefully I don't break anything. And yeah, okay, so we've got more components here. Again, I have no idea what all of this stuff does. We've got a fan, there's a nice fan there. I mean, to me, it looks all decent quality. I mean, it's all solid, it's all solid. And you know, I've seen some shoddy stuff in my time come from China and this so far, it looks half decent, but again, I don't know a thing about 3D printers, so I could be talking out my bottom. I, I don't know. I don't know what to expect for you. I mean, here's some motors here. See, these are all the, you know, the direction, how the mo how the, you know, the filament works. And, it, you know, again, I'm, I'm not getting the ter terminology right at all. So we've got um, cable ties. Good to see. We've got um, that. that. That looks like some sort of motor motor pulley cable thingy that'll connect on somewhere oh we've got a heat sink now i know what that is <laughs> we know what a heat sink is more fans again branded anet so you know that's good to see so it's all branded now. uh we've got power supply it is a american power supply i've got a few of these anyway so it's not really a big deal um uh, we've got uh some sort of bracket there and a motor inside it of some sort um, it's yeah, so good solid piece of whatever that is. It feels very solid. Umpteen amounts of bolts and screws and nuts. Wow, that's going to be fun. Uh, we have more bits of those. Uh, so I have to, like a, it is wood, isn't it? Is that wood? It has to be wood. It doesn't feel like plastic. But yeah, it's solid. It's solid enough. Um, I don't know what I don't know what this is. Um, right, okay, so let's have a look inside. But right, I'm assuming that is the power supply. I'm assuming, it has to be, right? Yeah, that, it has to be the power supply. Mmm, I like the smell of hair. Uh, mmm, yeah, very nice. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a computer power supply kind of thing. I can't imagine that's going to be very good quality. Um, I don't talk about PCs or anything on this channel at all, but you know, I'd imagine it's similar to a computer power supply of some sort, but I don't think that's going to be the best quality. I've just got a feeling it won't be. Um, but you know, it's we've got it and it's all right. Oh, it comes. We've also got a USB. I'm assuming that's, I'm assuming that is a memory stick. Uh, it could be something else. Uh, oh, hang on. Yes, it is a memory stick. Uh, probably the world's cheapest memory card, but a memory card nonetheless. And yes, very good. Now, to get that with something is quite impressive. Do you not think, especially for the price of these things? I'm not entirely sure what the price of this is right now. Um, I can't quite remember. I think it's about 100 pounds, 100 UK pounds. I think it might be a little bit less, a little bit more. Um, prices fluctuate all the time on GearBest. Um, and this is from 2018, so we know it's not been sat in a warehouse for too long. Very good. Right, I think that is everything. I don't, I don't think there's anything underneath. Oh, there we go. That's the that's the extruder. There's a little nozzle just on the end there. Um, right, that is the unboxing done. So I'm not going to put this together on this video now. I just wanted to show you it all. I mean, these some of these little motors are so cool. I can't, they're very much stuck in there. I want to get one out. There we go. Hey, there's a little motor. <laughs> I find things like this really fascinating. Um, yeah, there's a little motor. 
I mean, uh, so before I go, before I go, uh, a couple of people, I have read a couple of articles saying their motors are burnt out quite, you know, uh, you know, it's just after using it a couple of times. Now, if that was this, this version of it's been out a while, I think, so no doubt they've probably revised it or something like that, revised the design, improved the actual motors. I have no idea. All I can say to you guys is that this is going to be fun to put together. As well as that, as well as they're mentioning just that little bit. A lot of people, this has got very good reviews as well. So I don't have a clue, but all the reviews I've read, it's very, very good. So as far as like a 3D printer for, a, you know, to get started with, this could be very good, especially if you want to get into it. Especially for me, I think this is going to be very interesting, especially not for the other things I do, but for this channel as well. This could be very interesting. Uh, as well as that, there is a problem with the, the actual design or something like that. I'm not sure if they've revised it, but apparently you have to go over to Thingiverse and then uh, actually print out just the odd com uh, two components and it just improves the actual way it works, apparently. I'll get into that as we build the system in the next video over the next week or so. And yeah, we'll get into that and we'll really see what this is all about. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and give you a bit of insight on what to expect. But you get a hell of a lot for your money, I can tell you that. Um, obviously, we didn't buy this, but for the price I've seen these go for, I mean, there's a hell of a lot here. And yeah, great stuff. Anyway, thanks again for watching. We shall see you very soon.